guys, how are you? It's Pandora. I'm back with another weekly, monthly thingy that I do here. Um, and this time it's the British uh, Tier 9 TD, known as the Tortoise. And it's a treat. Um, I really like this tank. Big fan of this at Tier 9. But I think Wargaming have done pretty, pretty well when it comes to Tier 9 and Tier 10. They're both two tiers that are very, very well balanced. So what's the tortoise got? Um, I think it's got a great gun. It's got some trollish armor at times. Um, and um, it's a whole heap of fun when you've got the gun and when you can keep it in the game and when you've got targets in front of you. Now the tank has got some recent nerfs. Um, when it first came to the game of Blitz, um, the tank was just, it was an absolute beast. Um, I still maintain that it is a beast given the right circumstances. Equipment wise, I load mine with binoculars, a rammer and vents. Um, I recently changed the vents because I had a camo net. Um, I think the vents are probably a little bit better when it comes to the reload, but it doesn't offer that much of a difference. Um, the reload on this thing is about 6.2, 6.1 seconds. Um, and that's with the vents. The one thing about driving this tank is the machine gun hatch at the top. Um, that's going to be the obvious point of weakness. It's got a great lower glacis. The armor on the lower glacis is pretty strong. You're going to find that you're going to bounce a lot of shots. Um, the weakness of this tank is the right-hand side when you're driving it. Uh, you can see it there on the left of the screen. That whole side of the tank, the left side of the gun, is the weaker side when it comes to the armor. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Being called a tortoise, it is a slow tank. Top speeds are 20 kilometers an hour. That's not the slowest tank I've ever driven, but bear in mind, this is a tank that you have to keep in the game and you have to be around to support your team. We're gonna talk about the tank in Armour Inspector. As you can see from the screen there, the primary armor is 228. Now that does decrease a bit when you are shooting the left-hand side of the tank, which goes down to 171 millimeters. Now there are other there are other areas on the tank that you can shoot if you've got a more precise gun. Um, there's areas that are 101 millimeters. If you're on a downward slope, you have to be careful because there's 25 millimeters on the roof of the tank. Rotating the tank around, you can see on the right hand side is 152 millimeters and that goes around to all around the sides. The engine block at the back is 101 millimeters. Uh, and then talking about the tracks, uh, you've got 50 millimeters, but that's spaced armor. And the bottom thickness of the tracks is 35 if you want to track this tank. Rotating around to the very rear, it's 101 millimeters. And there's some areas with 152 millimeters of armor. Obviously, you don't want tanks getting around to your rear and shooting you in the back. Um, this is a tank that has a very, very slow traverse. And you'll find yourself in a heap of trouble if you find tanks behind you. You might have seen from Armour Inspector, you've also got 10 degrees of gun depression, you've got 20 degrees of gun elevation, and you've also got 10 degrees either side of the gun, so left and right, and that definitely comes in handy in some circumstances. So without further ado, I'm going to play in my normal style. I played three games, um, so we're going to get straight into it, and uh, let's see what this baby can do. So the first game... It's a game of supremacy and it's on False Creek. Um, I am the I am a tier nine. It is a tier ten game, and we've spawned on the southeastern side. Now, instead of going to try and protect the bridge, I'm going to move into a more central position. Um, I'm just going to cover B. Uh, you can see this pattern is already yapping. Um, he's going to be yapping quite a bit during this game, um, and I'm throwing it back at him. So um, I'm just trying to move into a position here because I've got 10 degrees of gun depression. Um, I'm going to move into a position here where I've got um, on the incline. So the theory around here is hopefully I might get some tanks that might be heading up towards B. And if there's tanks that pop up on C, who might be sniping down on our mediums, I might be able to put suppressing fire and keep them down. So none of the reds have spiked or been tagged yet. Two of the reds get spotted. They're in the back, up beside the bridge. Um, and this is where I decide to try and push in more left. Try and come around towards the A cap and try and support our mediums. 
so as you can see it's a very very slow tank probably a mistake on my part I should have kept moving from the very start um, but trying to get your tank into a position where you can support other tanks is kind of crucial um, best word of advice try and stay with your team here I've just made a decision to go left try and support the mediums because we've spotted up three tank three tanks over here so I'm just trying to get into a position where I can support them T62 has been spotted I'm gonna try and take him out sooner just keeping an eye out on the right hand side put a shot in on him not a bad shot and you will see with the tortoise you can make some pretty decent snapshots depending on the distance of the enemy put another shot in on him I'm hitting adrenaline because I want to get rid of him um, the tank is just an absolute beast when you hit adrenaline um, you just got to keep pumping shots put a shot in on the pattern as he's going up um, just backing off there trying to um, make my vulnerable spots as as, we, as small as possible but the e75 got a shot in on me i'm aware of the pattern on the right hand side I'm trying to put a shot here on the e75 now what you will see is you will derp a few shots like that with the tortoise i do bounce on there and i'm just waiting for the pattern to pop out again and i finish him off now i did have ap sore loaded there probably a mistake on my part i should have changed the ap but hey take another tank out of the game rolling up towards the e75 i have got ap sore loaded put one in on its turret He's concentrated on another one of my teammates, and this is where I see the Death Star. Trying to take a shot on the E75. Yes, I did bounce a shot there from the Death Star. Um, sometimes you get these really, really lucky bounces. Put a shot in, and this is where the tank just sings. You've got a tank in front of you, no protection whatsoever. Um, our medium is doing a great job. He's pulling him down towards me and I'm lucky enough to be able to finish him off. I give him a, an affirmative for that. Uh, I think he played pretty well in, I suppose you don't see that in the game quite a lot where mediums will try and pull tanks out into your gunfire. Um, I'm gonna capture the A cap and I'm just gonna roll back here. It's three against two at this point. We've got two tank destroyers in the back. Uh, I'm just trying to keep an eye out here to see if these tanks will pop up. And I'm also telling the pattern to um, keep it down. <laughs> Obviously this was before um, 3.8 uh, where dead tankers could still talk in the game. So it's just a matter of trying to roll it down, trying to get a shot. Um, it's not the best sniper and you'll see it from that shot right there um, you have to be careful and you have to let your gun aim quite a bit when you've got tanks at range I'm gonna roll in here to capture the, C the B cap it's really just a matter of time we've got two reds that are both one shots there goes one of them I was just waiting for the SU to be killed I have no problem at this point but um, you can see I'm just marking my territory there <laughs> And I'm hoping the SU is going to back up enough so I can take a shot. I'm keeping an eye out. He's taking shots. Is he going to pop? He's getting shots from everywhere and we managed to finish him off in the end. You can see I'm ecstatic. <laughs> well, 3.4 damage, 54 credit profit. I did use a lot of APCR. Um, I did take three shots, two which bounced. Now the next two games were recorded consecutively, one after another. Um, I wanted to give a better impression of the tank overall. Um, this is an encounter battle, it's on canal, and again, I'm the baby tier, it is a tier 10 game. Now in my head, I've made the decision that I'm gonna go right hand side, I'm gonna cross the bridge onto the main island section of the map, and try and support the tanks either left or right. So we've spawned on the northeast. Uh, it's just a matter of getting across this bridge and trying to get into a position. As you can see, I've reloaded already. The grill is following me. I can see the dead star has gone left and the mediums have also gone left. Surprise, surprise. We do have a T62 with us on the right hand side and he's let off a shot there to see if he gets spotted. And this is where I make a bit of a mistake. Um, 
yeah, I am affecting the driver there off the, the grill. That's not the mistake. Um, I'm gonna hit engine boost here because I'm gonna try and get across. And then I make the decision that, yeah, I'm not gonna go across that open area. Uh, this is a slow tank. I'm gonna get eaten up. Um, and there goes my engine boost. <laughs> Yo. So I'm gonna try and stay in this area, put some fire on any reds who might spike on the right hand side. We've already spotted three on the left hand side and I make a decision to try and get into a position where I can actually support them. So I'm backtracking, um, I'm heading out over to the left hand side. Meds are getting hammered by these two reds on the left hand side. And as you can see, it's all about getting your tank into the right position. Um, I'm trying to be cautious here because obviously there's a few reds at the back. Uh, just trying to get my tank into a position. You can see there's a T54. That would be a very, very risky shot to take. Uh, yes, I could reload. We do spot the E3. Put a shot in on his engine block. Just trying to start a fire there. No, it's not going to happen. So trying to roll over here always using the bushes obviously because um, I'm trying to keep this tank under camouflage I think this was the time when I actually had a camo net um, so none of the reds are showing up on me I think the dead star is got his eyes on that t62 another one of our tanks goes down and this is where I spot two at the back two TDs there's a good shot there on the Yag Tiger 400 alpha gun going to work bit of lag there waiting for them to pop but they're actually in behind the mount and this is where I start pushing it in across the bridge Death Star <laughs> what a shot and I'm pretty ineffective here I'm not doing anything um, so I'm trying to get into a position where I can put some more fire in on enemy reds this is where I get spotted um, and I'm not sure which tank has actually spotted me, but there's an E100 and he's got his eyes on someone else. So this is where you can see the DPM go to work. I hit adrenaline, put a shot in on its track, tracking the 400 alpha gun, just going to work. Um, the reload is just super quick. I've got adrenaline here, so it's 5.2. You can see it just going to work. Now it is, the E100 is taking well, the fire other than me. I'm taking shots from the right hand side, but I'm gonna finish this guy off. Aim for the lower glacis. I'm getting tracked here by the enemy tortoise, and I'm gonna try and do my best to put him down as well. He's tracked me again. He didn't penetrate me. I'm going for the machine gun hatcher, the cola. And um, this is where you can see the arc of the gun really, I suppose, favor the tank. It didn't really work that much there because he had tracked me, but I'm lucky enough to finish him off. The main battle results screen. Uh, we got a second class mastery, 3.2, and we made a profit of 5,000, 5,500 credits. Destroyed two tanks. Happy enough with that. Uh, I did get the top experience as well. Uh, 10 shots fired, 5 received, and 5 penetrated. So on to the third and final game. It is a game on Rockfield and it's another supremacy game. And as you can see from the battle stats there, it's a tier nine game, We've got a few tier eights. We've spawned on the Northwest corner. And I've made a decision, I'm gonna head up towards the A cap. Um, this is probably more favorable for this tank. Um, you got plenty of cover up there and hopefully the heavies are going to come up here as well. I've said it before in other videos that this is the area or this is the side where I think a lot of the heavies tend to go but this is supremacy, anything will really happen. We've got a couple of the heavies rolling right so I'm going to try and support them as best I can. As you can see the tank is just really really slow. Um, top speed 20k an hour and that's with the top fuel. Um, I do have an engine boost there. I'm not using it in this instance, but I will be using it at another point. So, just trying to get into position. <laughs> uh, it might take a while. But uh, we're rolling up here on the right-hand side. I'm just going to try and push in up beside this bunker. We've already spotted one of the reds. It's a IS-6. 
try and see if I can get shots on him, but he's in behind the bunker. I haven't got shots on him. Now the OBJ is object 704 is going to push in and around. I'm turning my focus towards him. Try and take a shot again. Derps into the ground. And I suppose it's a, it's a thing with this tank. You will find that a certain number of shots will hit the ground like that. I'm going to push in here to the 704. He's got his focus on something else. Uh, put a shot on him. Aim for the lower blazes. Try and put another tracking shot in on him. Don't track him, but I do manage to put damage. Uh, we've lit up the IS-6, but I'm going to forget about him for the time being. I'm going to risk taking shots. Finish off the 704. IS-6 is nowhere to be seen. He's skedaddled. Uh, take a shot there from the right-hand side. But we've got plenty of tanks up here on the right-hand side to worry about him. So I'm going to turn my focus here towards the tanks on the far side of the map. I'm going to try and snipe them from this range. This is a great little position here. I'm rolling forward and then I'll roll back. I can actually still see the T-30. So I'll put a decent shot in on him. 412 damage. Not too bad. And I'm going to roll up here. By the time I get up here, I'm going to be reloaded. We hit up the IS-3. Put a shot on him. Rolling back down. And as you can see, the tank has got a great snapshot. Rolling back up again. Got the reload. Centurion's lit up. Waiting for the bloom to narrow on that one. And um, put a shot in on him. And he gets vaporized in the end. Should have rolled back down. T30 is back up. Put a shot in on him. Now I'm waiting for the reticule to narrow a little bit because I want to actually hit him. But I do take a shot from the IS-8. This IS-3 is proximity spotting me. He's just underneath me here in the club. Turn my focus on the IS-8. He's looking at me. Gets a shot. Hits my engine. And I return a shot in on him. So, repair my engine. Obviously, I don't want to be any slower. <laughs> <laughs> the ORU has moved in to try and COD the IS-3 and my main concern here is just trying to cover him because I think that T-30 is going to pop out and try and get a shot in on him. I'm just waiting for him to roll out. Now unfortunately our ORU dies. Nothing I could really do there. Well, I could have probably done more. Bit of a speculator there. I thought that the T-30 was in the hedge, the bushes. He wasn't. I've had enough at this point. Rolling forward. I'm going to try and take out this IS-3. Put a shot down at him as I'm going down the cliff face. Finish him off. And another of the Reds, meanwhile, has also been destroyed. So it's three against one at this point. Uh, we're in a comfortable position. T-30 is a one shot. It gets finished off. So not bad. Finish off the game. 820 versus 655. And we finish with three tanks in the end. So not too bad. Main battle stats. Second class mastery, 3.4 and 12 and a half thousand credits. Destroyed two. Top experience, not too bad. Very happy with that game. So there it is, guys. All in all, not a bad tank. Um, I like it at tier nine, uh, but in saying that, I don't have many tier nines. But I do think it's an important tank to actually keep. I tend to get rid of the lower tiers as I upgrade. I do have the Dead Star, but I decided to keep this tank because I do like it. Um, it's got great DPM. If you keep the gun in the game, that's the main thing. Um, I tend to play it a little bit too much like a heavy for some reason. Um, I maybe over rely on the armor too much. It isn't indestructible. Uh, so just remember to use your cover wisely. Um, and yeah, basically... Play it, enjoy it, and um, hope you like it too. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching if you're still watching at this point. Take care. Bye-bye.